your history, your culture, your understanding of a human being and your understanding of a society has implications on the attributes that you give to that super consciousness. You see him as the supreme white Arab, he will be an Arab. You see him as the fair-skinned European, notwithstanding the fact that he comes from the Middle East, you will put him or you will carve him in that particular caricature. You will deprive all the Semitic facial characteristics and you will give it European characteristics. So, every religion is necessarily a product of its circumstances, its history and the journey that it has travelled. That is the distinction. So, whether it leads ultimately to the same goal is not in question. But the path that it has chosen for itself and the manner in which it chooses to describe that particular path and how it chooses to treat people who do not subscribe to that particular path is most important. I will never make the statement that monotheism is wrong or bad. But when that thought is, sub is, is sought to be imposed, either subtly through indoctrination, by cultural appropriation or acculturation, or through conquest, that is where I start having a problem. But other than that, I really cannot say this is wrong. Perhaps it's good for your nature. Good. If it is your belief that we are still people who are climbing up the spiritual ladder and therefore we require idol worship, so be it. This is between me and my God. He will decide whether I'm poor, uh, whether I'm a good student or a bad student. It's not for you to sit and judge. If you believe that you're ahead of me in the spiritual journey because you've jumped to the formless without necessarily going through the form, fantastic, good for you. Then your conduct in the world must reflect that particular sophistication. But if it does not, then there's a serious problem between your claim of believing in a higher deity or having a higher level of consciousness and the cruelty that you actually meet out to your fellow beings. <laughs> then that disparity will really ask, then that will force us to ask certain uncomfortable questions. What have you learned from the so-called journey of yours?